and this is Cordoba in July. Extremely hot, extremely hot. You can see the mosque cathedral over there, the famous mosque cathedral and the Roman bridge that you need to cross the river here. And tomorrow I'm gonna to try to explore the city despite these horrible temperatures. Right now it's about 46 degrees. Thankfully, I stay at a nice hotel and have air conditioning. But uh, you can't stay there in the room all the time. You need to go out there and do some uh, exploration. And uh, let's see tomorrow what it's like. I'll try, but it's very hot. There are some tourists here this time of year, but not many. People tend to stay. And maybe later, maybe later, thanks. Because it's so warm that uh, not a lot of people show up here. And over there we have the Roman bridge that I'm going to cross to reach the old city. But first, I'm gonna check out the river here. I feel like I'm in a jungle and uh, so warm. I've been in the tropics before, but uh, it's much hotter here in Cordoba, Spain. It's gonna be like 46 degrees today. And I uh, checked out the weather forecast for uh, Thailand, it's about 30. So much warmer here. And this impressive tower is part of the bridge complex. I'm gonna cross the river now on the old Roman bridge. Here we are on the old Roman bridge crossing the river, heading towards the mosque cathedral straight ahead. And to our left over there, you can hardly see it, there's a castle, castle of Christian monarchs. That's where Ferdinand and Isabella stayed when they were here in Cordoba and where they met Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus who often crossed this river using this bridge. And I'm gonna check out the castle as well. Historic place. A yeah, very solid bridge for sure here. I'm standing for 2,000 years. And uh, quite a few tourists are out early this morning because it's still not as hot. Probably closer to 40 degrees now, but uh, Later on today, maybe 46, so fewer people out then. But now, yeah, quite a few people using the opportunity in this uh, cool weather, just 40, to enjoy the sights here in Cordoba. So let's go to the Castle of Christian Kings. I think it's a pretty cool name, Castle of Christian Kings. And that's because uh, the Christian Kings, when they conquer this city, once again from the Muslims, they uh, use that castle as their place to stay. And uh, since this is the low season, we can actually buy our ticket over here in this booth to visit uh, the castle over here. But uh, during the high season, you need to do it online. And uh, we were immediately greeted by this proud looking Christian king when we enter the, the castle. And did I mention that one of my ancestors was the uh, king of uh, Denmark slash Norway? Uh, it's true, but it's a long story, so that's for another time. That is true. And here we have uh, a sarcophagus, an old Roman sarcophagus from uh, pre-Christian time. And you see the door here. It's half open, you see, it's half open. And that's the door to afterlife. And who knows who was staying in here. But it's uh, preserved and it's 2,000 years old, almost. Let's continue on in this, on this tour of the castle provided to you by uh, Sound Explorer. And here we come to one of the main rooms. Incredible hall. Look at this. I think this used to be something, uh, a church or something, a church uh, part of the building. And uh, look at the walls. But I think the most interesting thing about the castle is the gardens outside. So you want to check out those gardens. So let's take a look at the gardens and go for a walk around here. 
see what the fuss is all about. Uh, pretty nice view here towards uh, the best part, I suspect, of the garden. And this is uh, definitely a popular place for selfies here in Cordoba. And I know for a fact that uh, there's been a garden here for about a thousand years. One thousand years there's been a garden here continuously, so that's pretty incredible. And this here is the famous statue showing Christopher Columbus talking to Queen Isabella and uh, King Ferdinand trying to convince them to give him the ships and the funds needed to discover another way to reach India by going west and uh, they eventually gave him three ships and uh, he did discover America of course America was already discovered by then by the whacking Life Erikson and uh, Columbus probably knew that there were land towards the west because he had uh, read about the explorations of Life Erikson. I think it was an interesting castle and uh, I'm gonna go somewhere else. You can see that people are moving very slowly because it's getting warmer and people are getting tired so they're moving in slow motion. And uh, everywhere here in Cordoba you have these big doors and uh, it's like every building is a palace. I guess in the past people had to be careful and uh, they needed solid doors like this one. And in here as well. It's like a, well it is a palace. Many great places like this to see here in Cordoba. It's a very historic city. And the door over there, very solid. Typical place here in Cordoba. I guess there was a lot of quarreling in the past between people in the neighborhood. When people had these doors and forts, fortresses to keep each other away and here we have the famous mosque cathedral originally a mosque and then uh, when the christian kings came back and conquered the city they made a cathedral inside the mosque they built a huge cathedral inside the mosque it's a good idea so let's go inside to take a look at this Mosque Cathedral, well, it looks like it's in a pretty long queue here. That's not good. That's not so long. But I can imagine during the high season it's uh, difficult. Yeah, the ticket was 11 euro and uh, let's go inside and take a look at the Mosque Cathedral. It's getting so warm outside now. And uh, finding refugee in here is not a bad idea actually. Hopefully the temperatures outside can reach 46 today. Almost record temperatures. Not record, but close. Anyway, this is normal temperatures here in Cordoba this time of year. It's always like this, 44, 45. That's why so few people show up this time of year, but the tourists that do show up, they come here to this mosque cathedral, so I guess about half the tourists in Cordoba today are here. Maybe right now, because there's quite a few people here. And uh, the horrible heat is here, so I'm trying to stay 
in the shade like most people but here I have to cross go into the sun and the uh, heat just boom and it's just getting worse because it's not at its peak yet I suppose it's like 43 degrees now and uh, hopefully we'll see 46 pretty bad and uh, I'm thinking maybe I should return to north of Norway because uh, maybe it doesn't look so bad it doesn't look so bad anymore with those cold temperatures and here's my hotel Hesperia it has four stars maybe you can make out up there but this time of year with a few so few tourists and uh, the heat very affordable yeah. and so few tourists on this bridge in the middle of the day on this tourist attraction people know better than to walk outside in this kind of weather it's probably 45 perhaps 46 degrees right now that's according to the internet at least my information there yeah and people know better than to walk outside they stay inside in their air-conditioned room uh, it's pretty bad here now and you can see that guy to the right over there walking he asked me for water because he was thirsty and of course I told him no I have my own water I don't give away water on a day like this so he can thirst as far as I care we have to think about ourselves in a situation like that yeah Bob a couple of beers you want a beer yeah it's cold. I mean, it's warm, so you need a beer. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I need to be a little bit more friendly towards people, I guess. He needed a beer, so I provided a beer for him. And it's really cool walking around here in Cordoba. Cordoba. Because you never know what's around the corner. Uh, but in the middle of the day like this, not much happening around the corners. It's very quiet. They know better than to walk around in the middle of the day. You get a heat stroke here. But uh, I have a solution for that. Ice cold beer. Helps, helps me through these difficult days, this difficult time. And uh, yeah, eventually we will meet some people who are crazy enough to be outside in the middle of the day. And look at the doors, so strong. All the houses here are like fortresses here as well. I guess uh, they're not too neighborly here towards each other. It can be tough, tough and difficult times. Another fortress and here a door which seems to be open. Maybe I should walk in, take a look inside. I can't walk into people's houses like that. There's your limits. Yeah, look at uh, the doors. No exception. All the houses are like fortresses here. And this house here looks abandoned. Who knows what's inside? There are some YouTube channels where people are exploring abandoned buildings. This might be something for them. And a nice doll here in the window. I guess it's a baby member of the Ku Klux Klan or something. That's interesting. There's a strong wind coming through here. And when it's so hot like this, it burns your uh, eyes. It's like being inside an oven here now. I remember slow up, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fake. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up.